What's cracking, everybody? Zara Felrose here, bringing you some Pokemon Go Battle League content. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some battles from the Little Element Remix Cup from a trainer, Joe Watts1113, who took this double grass team on a streak straight up to veteran this early in the season. That's a pretty impressive feat. Looking like we've got a fast move oriented back line with Seal on the lead. Let's see how this trainer pulls it off and is able to get their team all the way up to veteran. So we've got straight into the whooper here in the lead. You got two better answers in the back. <laughs> this person just, oh my goodness, that whooper got almost deleted. The trainer swaps out and Litwick walls it, takes out the Oddish in short supply, but now uh, Seal can easily come in and lick down this ghost fire type and doesn't have to shield anything, even if it's you know mystical fire, flame charge doesn't matter. It's gonna do resisted damage. And even though we're in the little cup, that does not do enough damage to threaten even a shield. So even though the problem here we have is that the execute cannot swap in for another 20 seconds or so because the switch clock is missile or is uh, not quite up yet. I misaligned, but it's not up yet. So, man, I need to get this mic in the right spot here. So, Wooper is going to throw a charge move. This would do some damage, but again, it's just a body slam, so not going to do too very much damage here. But Wooper might get licked down. No, it does survive with one HP to get off the charge move. Seal gonna hang on here with one hp on its own and then throws the icy wind blindly into the next pokemon coming in which is a vulpix and because of that icy wind debuff that might be huge for the confusion down from execute two shields shadow execute is going to absolutely destroy this vulpix it doesn't matter how many charge moves it gets to with the quick attacks it's just going to keep going and there's absolutely no reason to throw any charge moves here whooper is out of energy as we saw it through the body slam as soon as it got to it so after the confusion Confusion down here. Just going to need to go for another confusion. Whooper's going to go down, and that's going to be a good game. Very well played. Getting into the next game, we're going to have our Seal here on the lead against a Low Tad. Not a great matchup, but not awful as long as the Low Tad's not got Razor Leaf, which it does. Safe switch into the Execute. And now we're going to see the Execute go for the Ancient Power. Because of that Psychic secondary typing, those Licks are doing super effective damage. So the Ancient Power does get shielded. No boost, unfortunately. But can we get to the Seed Bomb here? No, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. But Seal is got a lot of energy here, and we're going to see Joe Watch send his Seal in to take on the energy from the seal here seal 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 this this battle has my seal of approval i'll let that sit for a minute i know you thought it was funny Seal's going to keep going for icy winds here to debuff the attack of joe watts seal but going to continue to go for more energy soak this up hoping that oddish can handle the back line here or i guess the front and the rest of the back line there's a quaxley that comes in and Oddish just completely deletes it with one shield lotad's not getting to a move with those uh with the oh my goodness i can't think not getting to a move with those razor leaves and the seal is very low not going to be able to get to him of itself but the resist oh, double resisted razor leaf still chunking in this cup and it doesn't look like oddish is going to be able to make it to the full farm down so goes for the seed bomb here hoping to grab that shield hoping that seal with no it doesn't win cmp seal would have been better off i think farming down here definitely not going to have two moves this bubble beam not doing the damage that it needs to anyway but I'm going to get the shield because if seal can get to another charge move it should be able to take out the opponent's seal and as close as that game was i honestly didn't think he was going to pull it off that's going to take out the seal and that will be a good game well played going into the next game here we've got seal on the lead versus another seal we've seen we've sealed this before and i don't know if joe watts is going to eventually look to swap he probably will might tank the energy save a move nope going for the icy wind right away here looking to debuff the attack of the opposed seal and maybe just look to try and get switched no okay um opponent goes into a dupider here and that is going to be ripping a bit through the seal and i'm not really sure what he does here because this this dupider kind of just choose through the team here but going for the attack drop and then for an aqua tail looking to hopefully get a shield here we have to remember that the opponent's seal does have a move stored and the seal is going to get the aqua tail through and put dupiter right into the red here and mirror coat is going to be enough to ko the seal oddish comes in and with one razor leaf deletes the rest of the dupe fighter and vulpix comes in and we've seen this scenario before with two shields the execute can just farm straight through this thing and honestly execute gonna go down okay go because it's got quick attack and not ember the oddish is going to be able to tangle with it with shields so unfortunately seal having the icy wind here does put a bit of a 
problem into the uh, into the Odyssey's plan here. But with the shield, I think we see a full farm down. I do not believe that that Vulpix is at two moves. Am I wrong or am I right? We're going to find out. Weather Ball goes through, and the opponent's not at two charge moves. That's going to be a good game into the next one. And that's the nice thing about these Element Cup is if you don't really like playing the long games of Ultra League, sometimes cups like this are what you like to play. And it's not for me personally, but I definitely don't, you know, I don't see anything wrong with it. Anyway, we're going to see the exact same thing as the last game in a seal lead, going for the Icy Wind immediately. Then the opponent dips out into their Vulpix. I think the seal is going to look to go for an Aqua Tail here, potentially, but you might have to shield. No, not going to shield. It's going to be a Body Slam. Shadow Vulpix hurting a lot here, but those Confusions doing 20% more damage. You shield once, and you continue to farm down. And once again, though, due to the psychic typing of the execute, the seal could come in and potentially lick down. But with all this energy, it's going to have to shield twice because it has super effective charge move and in, in, uh, seed bomb. And boy, if he gets a if he gets a buff off of that off that ancient power, it's going to be nasty. All right, Litwit comes in. Pretty much a hard answer to uh, the execute, but not before it's going to get a ton of damage off with those confusions and seal again being a wall here goes immediately. For the Aqua Tail. I don't think that was a CMP, was it? I don't think Seal even wins CMP. No, it was not. Okay. Seal is going to come back in on the opponent's side, but Oddish comes in very quickly to neutralize it. Shielding up the Icy Wind, I think that the, um, I think that Seal could probably take out the rest of that, um, the rest of that Litwick, but no, maybe not. Actually, yeah, that's going to be a loss. Yep, okay. I See, I don't know my Little Cup matchups. I just know that it, things do damage. That's that's all I got. Volpix in the lead. This is a pretty okay lead, but honestly, fairly neutral it, because it takes Seal much longer to get to those Aqua Tails. But we are going to see a Lilip come in. This one is Rocket Infestation, and Lilip is going to have to bear the brunt of a super effective Icy Wind if it wants to no-shield this. So getting the shield and then coming straight in with the Otis, the attack drop is going to be huge here. Lilip's still kind of attack weighted, I think. Ancient Power could do some damage. It definitely does. But because Oddish is able to get to the moves much quicker, or is able to not get to the moves, it gets damage through much quicker, rather. Ancient Power is going to take it out, but then Seal can come in and get a nice farm down and not have to worry about tanking another charge move. So what do we see here? We're going to see the Seal come in and probably try to lick down. Gets the lick down, which is kind of nice. And... In comes a Wooper. This is actually very dangerous for Wooper because the Seal has a charge move all ready to go here, but decides to no-shield the Body Slam, and then we're going to see a CMP here. So Seal is going to continue to lick itself into the Tootsie Roll Center of this Wooper here. If you can count the licks, let me know in the comments how many licks it took to get to the Wooper's Tootsie Roll Center, but instead of... Chain, or instead of tanking that charge, we're going to swap on the Body Slam to catch it on the Execute, and then Volpix is going to come in here, and we're going to see the Confusion down, I think, with two shields once again. You know, Joe Watts has a very good number of options here. He's got a shield advantage. He can continue this, this farm down, go for the CMP here, and look to force a shield off of the opponent. Their, their Wooper is all they're going to have left if they don't shield, so the opponent does shield, and I think you just lick down with the uh, with the seal now and keep the shield, and that's going to be enough damage off of the seal, most likely, to get rid of this Wooper, probably. So we'll see, but we have to shield up this move here. I believe the Wooper was not um, able to get any energy. They threw the Body Slam right away. So having a charge move loaded, the opponent simply concedes, and that's a good game. All right, dropping into the next game, another seal lead. Looks like seal is one of the most common leads, at least in this ELO range. Again, this is right, like right in the 2400s. Um, so once again, going to see not the same play. We're changing it up in this one. Made an adjustment here to go for extra energy. And maybe we bank the move. Yeah, Oddish comes in and gets met with a Litwig. It looks like this trainer was ready for the Razor Leaf strat. But the thing is, is that Litwick gets basically walled because it only has, I believe, fire-type charge moves. So this is going to be very difficult for the Litwick, and the uh, Seal just chooses to go straight for an Aqua Tail here, not looking to take any chances at absorbing any energy, just immediately going for the Aqua Tail here, and, and then he's going to go for the Icy Wind with a small energy advantage that he had over the seal here. Going to be able to get an icy wind off and then execute maybe comes in here. No, it can't because the switch clock's not up because of how quick those razor leaf uh, matchups go. But 
Going for the icy wind here. Joe Watts is able to hang on. Going to bank some energy most likely. Or lick down the seal entirely. Keeping very excellent track of the opponent's energy. Volpix is going to get two shield farm down by confusion. Shadow Execute. Absolutely one of the top threats in this Element Cup remix. Just due to that shadow confusion damage. If you save shields for it. It's going to absolutely massacre just about anything that doesn't just resist it. So very well played there. Good planning. And that's the whole point of this team I imagine. You save swap the Oddish. Get out their grass type, you know, grass type counter, right? You get out the, um, how many wins? Too many wins. Lots of wins. That's actually a message from my own Discord, my Patreon Discord, and uh, link in the description and in the pinned comment for anybody who's interested in trying to join that server. We have a really awesome community there, and lots of people grow every season, hitting new season highs and personal bests. And it's a great place to get information from the inside of myself because I put everything on that Discord before it even gets onto YouTube or any other medium. So uh, lots of really amazing information there. So highly recommend checking it out if you're interested in getting to the next elevated uh, level of your gameplay or just want to get some tips and some help from a great community. Anyway, we see a simultaneous KO here, so hopefully it's not going to be an RPS situation. Doopiter comes in and is doing double super effective damage with those... Bug bites, dude, those things hurt. Look at this, already eviscerated the execute. Unfortunately, making the incorrect call here, but the opponent comes in with a seal, and now Joe Watts is in a very good position to get a shield with the seed bomb if the opponent wasn't going to shield it. Now they're going to get icy winded, and this is going to put Joe Watts not only in an energy advantage, but also... I think an HP, no, it's not quite an HP advantage, but the licks adding up like they are puts him at an HP advantage, but it's going to come down to how much energy and how much damage the seal has after this matchup is over. Going to continuously go for the Icy Winds. Aqua Tail is stab and might do a tiny bit more damage, but the Icy Winds adding up much quicker actually has put Joe Watts much farther ahead in this matchup. I think that he's going to have to go for a debuff, um, not a debuff, you're going to have to go for a charge move against the Dewpider here, or let it go and keep the HP. I think if you can maybe try and swap out, clear the debuff, or get, oh man, this is a close one. The Dewpider comes in and gets deleted. It had much less HP than I, than I thought. The seal's just taking names, dude. Absolutely taking names here. Whooper in the lead in the next game here. Very quick games here. And Oddish comes in and deletes half the Whooper before the opponent even realizes what happened. And then Dewpider comes in. And that's the nice thing about Oddish, too, is it usually draws out the Dewpider, which keeps it off of the Execute, which is really... Excuse me. Really nice. That came out of nowhere. Unfortunately, Oddish is going to go down with the Seed Bomb and not able to get to the move here. Very tragic, but we're going to see the Seal most likely come in here after waiting out the Switch Timer to try and lick down the Dewpider before it gets to a Charge move. But at the very last second, Dewpider is going to be able to get to what looks to be a Bubble Beam. So unfortunate attack drop here, but we're going to see what the opponent comes in with here. Could come back in with that Whooper, which they do, but at an energy disadvantage here. Icy Wind is going to come through against the Whooper before the... Uh, they can get to even a body slam, and we're going to see an attack drop, and now Seal can comfortably tank this move. Dugong in the Great League is very tanky. Seal doing just as well here, and now we see yet another two-shield farm down of a Shadow Vulpix in the Execute matchup. Easy win here, no problem. Weather Ball is going to get the shield. Opponent would honestly... I mean, they're not really doing much here. You can't survive enough confusions to even get through these shields. So, unfortunate for the opponent trying to do their best to get these shields off, but you could just go for the seed bomb here and uh, pr take the last shield off and seal just simply gets to a charge move against the whooper. Or the opponent ha can't... <laughs> I can't speak, man! The opponent has to be able to get to another charge move and they don't. And honestly, that does enough damage for me to hit the button, even though that would have probably killed like 16 whoopers. Seal lead in the next match. We haven't seen this in a while, have we? Seal is going to be the top dog in the lead here. Going to go for that adjusted play, getting a ton of extra energy here. Neither Seal willing to throw their energy, wanting to save it for the late game here. But Joe Watts pulls the trigger on his energy first, going for that move. Now we're going to throw the Icy Wind because they're so close to the Icy Wind, I feel like it just makes more sense to throw it. That's going to help Oddish be able to farm down here, and the Dewpider is going to do a little bit less damage on those bug bites. Oddish absolutely dominating this matchup. I don't even think the Dewpider is going to get to a bug buzz here. So safely let go the Bubble Beam. And even with that debuffed attack stat, still doing plenty of damage here in that matchup. We're going to see the opponent come back in. I don't think they come back in with the seal here. They're going to have to come in with a Chikorita, so we're going to full send the Sludge Bomb. I love this play here in the Little Element Cup. We're going to see Sludge Bomb come through and get the shield. 
First shield in the match, but look, I think, honestly, I think that Otis could have got to another move. So we're going to see him let it go, and then Execute, I would reckon, will come in here to avoid the Seal matchup, and then we're going to see him attempt to catch a move. Seal comes in and immediately goes for a move against Joe Watts' Seal. And the Icy Wind is going to take effect here, lower the attack stat, but at this point, the opponent has to throw the rest of their energy and Execute could just farm everything down, and that's going to be a really bad thing for the opponent here, being at a shield disadvantage against this Shadow Execute is a death sentence. Have to shield this up, it could potentially be an Icy Wind, because I'm not counting licks. Joe Watts is, though, and he calls the Aqua Tail, saving both shields. Very gutsy, very good play here, because Chikorita gets to those body slams very quickly. Going to shield up the body slam here. Easily shield up another body slam. The confusion's finished chunking down the Chikorita, and that's a good game. Well played. Getting into the final match here of these two sets, we have yet another seal lead. I think I have seen enough seals to finish sealing this deal. All right. Gonna go for no energy here, letting the opponent throw first, looking to probably swap out into the Otis as we've been seeing Joe Watts do, getting some damage off, and the Jupiter comes in, and unfortunately, because of a few licks going through, the Jupiter is able to outpace um, to the move before the Otis can get through as we've been seeing, he just lets it go. And then we're going to finish licking down with the seal to get even more energy to threaten the rest of the opponent's team. But now, I, like I said, he's counting the moves better than I am. And he's going to be able to go for an Aqua Tail here to take out the Jupiter before it can get to a Bubble Beam. And the opponent's seal, having very little energy, having just thrown, is going to come back in and has to tank an Icy Wind that Joe Watts' seal is going to get to first thanks to that energy lead it got from before so icy wind is not going to get any shields it's going to take the attack down of the seal opponent immediately swapping in onish and look he gets three confusions and it gets deleted by execute the opponent in shambles not going to be able to reach another charge move as joe watts as execute finishes the job and takes out the opponent's seal very well played games i you know sometimes i wish i had the mental capacity to go through these little cups but i just don't have the the i just don't have the will the willpower to invest my dust in it i have a few things but i'm i don't know man i also don't have most of the things i would actually need to actually put the stardust into because i just don't have them in my storage but thank you very much joe watts for sending in these battles awesome dude fellow rock paper slark um he's in the group he's not in the actual rock paper slark faction but he's in our group in our in our uh camaraderie i should say so awesome dude really appreciate the battles with some amazing little cup little element cup remix battles and trainers once again if you would like to submit some battles to the channel for shoutcast you can do so there's a link in the description and the pinned comment and thank you all so much for watching and we're going to catch you all in the next one Bye bye